With the end of October quickly approaching, I am getting more and more excited for Halloween. As we are in the middle of Vlogtober, a new video every day, Monday through Friday, through the entire month of October, I really wanna share tons of my Halloween ideas. Um, it's gonna be my daughter's first Halloween this year, so I'd like to share our costume ideas. And today's video is going to be sharing all of my trick-or-treat candy alternatives. So I know what you're probably thinking, that is so lame. But some of the things that I found today I think are even cooler than candy. I think it's a great idea to promote a healthier lifestyle to your children. And although you don't want to be that boring neighbor that doesn't pass out the big candy bars, um, I think you could get really creative and become that neighbor that everybody wants to go to, regardless of you not giving out candy. Another thing you might initially be thinking of is that sounds expensive, but actually if you compare it, um, to candy prices, especially during this time of year, it's really, really comparable. Um, so you just have to take into account how big your neighborhood is, how many trick-or-treaters you usually get, and make your decision from there. Then a lot of these options are gonna be right there with that price of a giant candy bar um, or even less. So yeah, throughout this video, you are going to have to excuse my dog barking. We have a farm across the street from us and the horses are like right on the edge of their um, fence, so he's talking to them. So I tried a couple times to settle him down, um, but I think I'm just gonna have to wait it out. So I excuse the barking in the background. Also, I am trying out a new setup. Um, I'm not sure how it looks because I have natural light coming from behind me, but you'll have to let me know. I did get a comment on one of my previous videos that my quality wasn't looking very good, so I am trying to find other solutions. Um, I live in Alaska and it's really, really dark up here, especially going into the winter months. When we get deep into winter, I will only have about three or four hours of sunlight, so I'm gonna have to get creative. So let me know what you think about this setup, um, about this lighting. I know it's really warm, but I thought it kind of um, went with my Halloween theme. Like I mentioned previously, we are in the middle of October, so if you'd like to see more from me, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And with all of that being said, let's get into my trick-or-treat candy alternatives. So number one, and this is actually my favorite, I think, are little tangerines. I haven't met anybody who doesn't like little clementines or tangerines, whatever you want to call them. And you don't have to worry about parents not feeling safe about, um, this fruit that you got from your neighbor because it's protected by its skin. I know when I was sugar treating, a couple of my neighbors would do caramel apples and if I didn't know them, I wouldn't take them because um, you never know. So I think that this is a good way to incorporate fruit and parents possibly feeling safe about this. So yeah, so I love this idea, um, a nice little healthy snack and even more delicious than a bar of candy in my opinion. My next option, and this one is another one of my favorites. So I know when I would get done trick or treating, me and my sister would dump all of our candy out on the floor and first of all, we would inspect the candy and then we would do trades, we would categorize them and that might sound really nerdy but that was like our favorite part about Halloween. Um, but after you're doing that and you're snacking along the way, you get really, really thirsty. So how great would it be if you had a neighbor who gave you a mini water bottle? Again, this is something that parents will feel safe about because it will have the secure lid on top and you can even get creative and do the labels with like pumpkins or ghosts or whatever you want. Um, so I think this is a great idea. The only negative I can come up with um, about giving water bottles is that it will weigh down a treat bag or um, you know whatever it is they're carrying. So, but regardless of that, I think this is a really good idea and something that I definitely would have appreciated as a trick or treater myself. This next item is something that I actually found at Target, and they are pre-made mini play packs. So this whole set was three dollars, and you get eight play packs. Um, they have little coloring books, two crayons, and I think some stickers. And if you think about it, um, getting eight for $3 is probably even better priced than the bigger candy bars. So like I said, it just kind of depends on how many trick-or-treaters that you usually have or what your budget would be regardless. Um, but I think this is such a cute idea. Another thing that I think I would have really loved because it just mixes it up and makes you that unique house that always has something fun. This again, I found at Target in the Halloween section. These are little tiny um, tubes of bubbles and they have pumpkins on them. They have cats and skulls in different colors. And this whole thing was $3. So again, this is even more affordable than doing candy. And I think this is such a cute idea. I still love bubbles as an adult and I know I really loved them when I was younger. I think it's also a really good option for kids that are younger when their moms aren't gonna want them to 
um, eat candy for the next month and a half. I think this is a really cute idea. So yes, I love the bubbles. Another fun little thing I found are these dinosaur rings. They're again in different colors and they just have little dinosaur heads that you can put on your finger. The size is adjustable. So that means anybody will be able to wear them, which is awesome. And yeah, they had a bunch of different figurines too. They had like spiders and stuff like that, but I have like a huge fear of spiders, so I stayed away from those. But yeah, just check out the Halloween section at Target and there's tons of these little ideas. The last thing that I chose from the Halloween section at Target are these little um, sticky hands. I liked the fun colors of these and um, how they're like kind of creepy skeleton hands. Again, these were $3 and there's 12 of them in here. So I think that's a really good value. Also, if you're like me and the way your treat bowl looks is important to you, um, all of these colors go together. So you can make it arranged really cute. And that's just an extra little bonus. We still live in a new construction neighborhood, so there's not a ton of people there's probably about 30 houses and um, some of them are older people and they don't have kids or whatever so um, this is something that would be an option for us because like I said we don't have a ton of trick-or-treaters and that are these little cute Pez dispensers they have um, a little bit of a variety of the heads that you can choose so I just chose the pumpkin ones I thought that was the most friendly looking um, but this is a really good option too and you would be like the really cool house if you got everybody a Pez dispenser I think this whole pack was just over a dollar. So like I said, if you do live in a neighborhood where you don't get a ton of trick-or-treaters, this is definitely doable. So yeah, super cute idea. And then last but not least are these little organic um, fruit snacks. So you could also do like little bags of goldfish or chips or crackers, but I really like this Annie's brand and these fruit snacks are probably one of my favorite snacks that they do. I also like their cheddar bunnies, but I didn't see them in a little box like this. If you threw these in the mix of everything I've shown you before, I think it'd be a really good um, option for those kids that are kind of bummed out that you don't have any candy. And again, it's a much healthier alternative to a candy bar. So that is all that I have for you. Those are all of my ideas. Again, I think my two favorites are the clementines and the water bottles. Another thing that I do around Halloween time is I make special little bags for our special friends all around our neighborhood or um, maybe not in our neighborhood. So for example, if you have nieces or nephews um, or if you have kids and they have friends. So if you'd like to see a video on how I put together those bags, then leave me a comment down below and I will definitely do that because that is a really fun part of our Halloween traditions. Let me know what your favorite idea was that I shared today um, down in the comments and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.